First to a story we've been following all afternoon long. Detroit police have released new body camera footage showing the moments leading up to a deadly officer involved shooting. Chief James White says five officers fired a total of 38 shots in a matter of three seconds after 20 year old Porter Burks charged at one officer with a knife. Seven Action News reporter Darren Cunningham walks us through the video. The chief says 38 shots were fired and they found 15 wounds on Porter Burke's body. Now they're still trying to determine which of those were entry and or exit wounds and we're told five officers fired their weapon. Chief James White said historically the police department does not and has not shared videos like this this early in the investigation. But he says he's doing so out of an, quote, abundance of transparency. This incident happened Sunday morning at 5 a.m. Police got a call from family of Porter Burks that he was having a mental health crisis and needed help. When police got there, Burks' brother told police that Burks had slashed his tires. Officers found Burks a block over and an officer with crisis intervention training and other officers tried getting him help and told him to put the knife down repeatedly. Whatever you want, we can help you with. We can get you home. They asked him what he wanted and if he wanted help. At one point, Burke said he just wanted to get some rest. The chief says Burke's charged at officers, a taser was deployed, and shots were fired. That's where the video is cut. Tragically, Mr. Burks sprinted towards the officer with weapon in hand, and it changed the course of everything that was planned. Um, with regards to a taser, uh, you know, when you're closing on someone with a, with a knife, and, uh, you know, there's, there's really little time to wait for the reaction of a taser um, because you can close that, that reactionary gap so quickly. The chief says the system failed Porter Burks on numerous occasions. The department says in March of 2020, he stabbed two siblings, a sister in the neck and hand and a brother as that brother came to the sister's defense. Also in 2020, we're told he stabbed a seven-year-old stepsister. And the third and more recent events, uh, we're told that uh, Burks uh, was looking to fight someone. He was taken to a psych ward, he escaped, and when authorities caught up with them, we're told that he punched an officer. And so authorities eventually uh, did uh, catch up with him. Now we're told the next step is for state police to uh, do a criminal investigation, and then they will submit their findings to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office so that they can do an independent review of their own. In downtown Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. Darren, thank you. We can tell you tonight the five officers involved in this incident are now on administrative leave, and their names will not be released by DPD at this time. We're also hearing from extended family of Burks. They tell us they were aware he was suffering from a mental illness, but that was not an excuse to shoot and kill him. It's not enough. There's nowhere for anybody Treatment to Treatment out here is nowhere to go. The police oh, need to be trained. That needs to start there. They come in contact with more they mental illness on the street every day where they not trained. And we do know attorney Jeffrey Figer has been contacted by the family. Figer will be having a press conference regarding this deadly shooting incident on Thursday. And we'll have continuing coverage of this developing story both on air and on WXYZ.com.